Good morning students. Once again, I, Jadip Dutta, am back with a new poem, Fable by Ralph Waldo Emerson. It's your class 10 syllabus poem, you know. So let's have a lucid reading at first. Fable, Ralph Waldo Emerson. The mountain and the squirrel had a quarrel, and the former called the latter little prig. Barn replied, you are doubtless very big. But all sorts of things and weather must be taken in together to make up a year and a sphere. And I think it no disgrace to occupy my place. If I am not so large as you, you are not so small as I, and not half so spry. I will not deny you make a very pretty squirrel track. Talent stiffer. All is well and wisely put. If I cannot carry forests on my back, neither can you crack a nut. So let's have an explanation of the fable. The mountain and the squirrel had a quarrel. You know mountain and the squirrel, they are talking to one another in a very arrogant fashion. They are actually quarreling. But this quarrel is not just a quarrel, rather it should be called a debate. The mountain and the squirrel, they are debating with one another. And the former called the latter, little prig. Ban replied, you are doubtless very big. Ban refers to the squirrel. Ban is a similar term of squirrel. Squirrel is saying, mountain. You are very big, no doubt. There is no doubt regarding this fact. But all sorts of things and weather must be taken in together. Before that, one thing I should I should tell you. The former, I mean the mountain called the squirrel little prig. Prig means actually pseudo wise man. Not, uh, not actually wise, rather pseudo wise. But this squirrel is not actually pseudo wise. The squirrel is really, really wise. Had he not been so, then the words of wisdom would not have come out from, from his lips. What are the words of wisdom? You are doubtless very big, but all sorts of things and weather must be taken in together to make up a year and a sphere. The mountain is doubtless very big, but the mountain is not the sole occupier of all place. The small things like a squirrel is also important as far as the completion of themes is concerned. In order to complete a total sphere, in order to complete a total year, the tiny existence should be taken into account. The tiny small existence should be taken into consideration. That's very important. And these words of wisdom, these words of sagacity have come from the brain and from the mouth of a squirrel. So therefore, we should conclude that the squirrel is not actually a prig. Rather, the squirrel is really, really a very wise entity. And I think it no disgrace to occupy my place. The squirrel is saying more. And I think it no disgrace to occupy my place. If I am not so large as you, you are not so small as I. Here, two terms, two terms are very important. The one is superiority complex and the another is inferiority complex. So what is superiority complex? Superiority complex is the complex or the psychological problem that occurs after thinking somebody or after thinking itself or himself superior and the inferiority complex is just the very opposite inferiority complex is the complex which arises when somebody thinks himself to be inferior to others both are negativities superiority complex and inferiority complex both are psychological disorders here the mountain is actually suffering from superiority complex but blissfully and fortunately the squirrel is not at all suffering from inferiority complex. Squirrel uh, is quite conspicuous, squirrel has a quite conspicuous and a clear concept about his own existence. He knows what he is and who he is, but the mountain does not know his limitations. Mountain, maybe the mountain, the mountain may be very big, no problem, no doubt regarding this fact. But in spite of that, the mountain has some limitations. The squirrel has also some limitations, and the squirrel knows about his limitations, what mountain does not know. Mountain does not know what his limitations are. The squirrel is pointing out that the squirrel is no doubt very small. The squirrel is much smaller than the mountain. But the mountain is not so small as the squirrel. We always take into consideration this, I mean, uh, this huge figure to be a merit. But the squirrel uh, is very small. The mountain is not so small. The mountain, uh, therefore, uh, should take some sort of respect for the squirrel as well. 
I will not deny you make a very pretty squirrel track. Talent Stephen. All is well and wisely put. If I cannot carry forests on my back, neither can you crack a nut. The most important expression has come almost at the fag end of the poem. Talents differ. Actually, talent is not a uniform concept. All the people in this world, all the creatures in, the, in, the, in this world are not uniformly talented. They have different sorts of, different sorts of talent. All the talents are not, not same. As for example, if Diego Maradona was taught to play uh, cricket and Sachin Tendulkar was taught to play football, then what would happen? The result would have been disastrous. The result would have been disastrous. I did not say about it. All of you know. Diogo Maradona is one of the greatest footballers and Sachin Tendulkar is one of the greatest cricketers. But had the matter been otherwise, then obviously two bright chapters from the history of game would have been deleted forever. Maradona would have been a very poor cricketer and Tendulkar would have been a very poor footballer. That's why at first we have to discover what talents we have within us and then we have to follow that talent. The discovery of the inner talent is very important. The, is, the discovery of the embryonic possibilities is very important. So at first we have to discover, at first we have to go deep into our own heart. Then we have to find it out what talents are there. And then we have to ask ourselves, what, what thing I can do the best? What thing I am most fond of? Then I have to go there. I have to find out my own talent. Each and everybody has to find out his or her own talent. The squirrel is saying, all is well and wisely put. The squirrel may have a very small existence. To others' eye, that existence may be small, that ex existence may be inconsequential, that existence may be trivial. But actually, the existence is not at all inconsequential, it is not at all trivial. Rather, it is very, very, very significant for the completion of the entire scheme of events. And everything is wisely put. We may say God to be the creator of this entire universe. If we think God to be the creator of the entire universe, then he is extremely talented to put everything in an order. Nothing redundant is here. Everything is necessary, nothing redundant. If I cannot carry forests on my back, neither can you crack a nut. Really, the squirrel cannot carry a forest on its back. Similarly, the mountain cannot also crack a nut, which is uh, which is a talent, I mean, which is the merit of a squirrel. So, talents differ. That is the core message of Pebble. We should always keep in mind this. I think the video is helpful for all of you. And if it really satisfies you, please stay tuned with the new videos.